Hey guys, Roger Peterson here with Two Can Do. Always working to build better relationships with other guys through questions, courage, and change. I had a really interesting time with a couple of guys yesterday. And I and they're they're just learning to ask questions. And great guys and, and they they are doing wonderful things. And I was excited about our time yesterday. But I noticed something that I want to pass on to all of us. Our temptation when learning to ask questions about a problem, because we start with what? No questions, right? We start with what we want to say. Think about a game of a sports conversation or or a work conversation. We look for opportunities to interrupt and say what we want to add to the conversation. We don't ask questions in general. So when you start asking questions, it's really easy to fall into a rut of questions that surround the advice you want to give. I mean, we instinctively think of advice that we want to give or a solution that we want to give, right? Our wives or uh, women in our world have accused us of trying to fix them. And they don't want to be fixed. They want to be heard. This is the same sort of idea as you're asking questions of guys and, and diving into situations, into solutions. I go back to that phrase I've used before, seek to understand, not to be understood. To be understood is about talking. And sometimes we can ask questions that just help us get to where we can talk and advise and fix. I, what I would do is take the whole idea of fixing off of the table. Get the idea of fixing out and aim at understanding and, and dive into with your questions, dive into the person's feelings, dive into his reactions, dive into underneath why, just seek to understand him. And as the guys were learning that yesterday and were going that direction, asking some great questions, you know what I felt? I felt cared about because they weren't trying to fix me. They were just trying to understand how I felt. They were trying to understand me and what's going on in me. And by them asking those questions, I just felt cared about. It was amazing. And so I wanna encourage you to, to take the whole idea of fixing this person you're talking with, take it off the table. Make it not about fixing. Make it about understanding and accepting. Not accepting sin, but accepting that person and all of their weakness and all of their struggles, accepting them. And you know what you're gonna find out? Understanding that person is the first major step in fixing the situation. The person just needs to be accepted and understood. We kept on going back to Proverbs 21.5. The ways of a man are like deep waters, but a good friend draws them out. Just draw out those deep waters. Just draw out what's inside. Just draw out the struggle. Just draw out the reaction. Just draw out the feelings. Just draw out the history of those problems. Just seek to understand. And you will be going a long way toward finding a solution. Thanks, guys.